We know that Zion had the foot surgery, the fracture on his right foot. Just initially, your thoughts on how that was handled and, and, and what's at stake for Zion just with this injury, first off? Well, when it first came to mind for me, I was a little frustrated. First, as a fan, because we know what Zion's been through since coming into the NBA from Duke. There's been a lot of injuries around him. So I was a little frustrated because we didn't hear about it when it happened. Why not tell us then? Why hide it to all the way to this point and let us find out right before training camp? He's a human being at the end of the day. He was working out. He talked about he had this chip on this boulder on his shoulder because he's tired of people telling him he's not healthy, his body's too big. So the fact that now he's telling us that he was working, that he might have been doing too much, why didn't you tell us that months ago when it happened? Now we would have known that you hurt. You've had successful surgery, and you're doing the right things to get on the floor so you can be there for your fans in New Orleans. Definitely, probably could have been handled different. That's it. You know, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, healing, he's been doing a lot of that. Very long injury history when you look at everything that's taken place even before he was a professional athlete, 3D. I mean, there's a lot at stake this season on and off the floor for the Pelicans, and it all starts with Zion. Yeah, if you're a medical doctor, if you want to play one at home, it's because of the lower extremities with three knee and a foot and then one finger. The finger, okay, it happens. You tape right. it up, you can keep playing. But when it's the knee and the foot, you have to miss significant games. So that's when that cloud gets over your head as a player and even future teams. We know his talent. You see him flex. We know how good he is. But even the next team's going to say, okay, we may take this chance. Hey, owner, do we want to take a chance on a young man who has the injury history? If we do that, we have to have certain things in place very similar to Philadelphia where they did in B. They gave him the big contract, but there's some stipulation how many games missed and played and playoffs and all that kind of things. So now for Zion, when you come back from – this injury, that's on your mind, that's on the organization's mind. So now you have to figure out a way, how do we keep this relationship good for the future?